Hey, this is Bridget V, and I am excited about having our special guest, the world-renowned gospel artist, Mr. Kirk Franklin, who is our special guest for our Christmas with Kirk Franklin gospel concert happening tonight. The Inland Empire is abuzz and ready for it. And Mr. Kirk Franklin, I'm here to ask you, first of all, all of us in the IE want to know, how do you like the Inland Empire? The Inland the Empire. The Inland Empire. That's Ontario? That's Ontario. The Inland, well, you know, I just got in today, so I haven't had an opportunity to uh, look around, but from from just the views of the mountains and, uh, and uh, you know, just the crisp, clean air, <laughs> you know, it's a beautiful place so far, and I've had a chance to meet some wonderful children here and uh, that's been very special because you know I, I just I would always have a place in my heart for that generation mm -hmm. so hopefully uh, maybe I'll have a chance to come back again mm -hmm. so I can you know really get a chance to kind of get a sense of the uh, city and the community but so far it's been great good good I want to start off just with the music you've been in the industry for about 20 years now you started at 11 as a choir director I mean that's really really young now, would you recommend people starting that young in the gospel music? Not doing what I was doing, no. There's no way I would tell somebody to let the kid do it that young just because, you know, I didn't know what in the world I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have any, you know, uh, sense of maturity that I needed to be able to do it right, you know. But, you know, if God is sovereign, then, you know, he had that plan too, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's kind of hard to, to say what you would and would not do, you know, when you or striving to believe in God's predestined plan for your life, you know, because, you know, there are no mistakes. Right. So, you know, if you have a child that is showing some some desires in that space, I would just really uh, suggest that you really have a heart to really seek God and, and to really be committed to right. that spiritual process of hearing the Lord on what's the best thing to do for your child. Yeah. I, I know you, you seem to have such a heart for children um, when you felt the call in your life, did you feel like it was just kind of designed specifically for the kids, that that's your area to minister to? No, not, not necessarily, because I mean, when I was doing the first album, I wasn't trying to do it for the kids, I mean, but at the same time, I was 22, mm -hmm. you know, 21, 22 years old, so, you know, it, you know, just kind of reflected, I guess, where I was, but you know, you know, song like Silver and Gold, that's not a kid song, mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, you know, like while we sing is not a kid song, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, those were the songs that came out of me. And, you know, it it was a part of a young community, but it, it, it wasn't an attempt to, you know, it, it just naturally happened, I guess. Okay. Well, you know, you were extremely relatable. And um, the, like you're now, okay, so you've been a um, producer and you're a writer. And uh, now you're coming out, you're an author. You're coming out with a book, The Blueprint. I mean, it's, it's powerful, it's transparent. I mean, what's the motivation uh, behind the book, The Blueprint? Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Blueprint, yeah. let's talk yeah. about that. You know, it was one of the most difficult things that I've done before in my life. I'm, 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 I mean, writing a book, you know, because it wasn't like I had a ghostwriter. You know? mm -hmm. it, it was something that I did. Right. And I had a gentleman help me with the rewrite, you know, but uh, for the most part, you know, the essence of the book was me with right. a computer. And, you know, it was very difficult because when you write music, you know, you are writing when you are inspired to write, mm -hmm. you know, when, when God gives you an idea and a thought. But writing a book, you have to write even when you're not inspired. Right. And I didn't, and I didn't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. So I had to fight through that because I did not know how to lock myself up in a room and just write when I didn't feel like writing. And that uh, drew me bad. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, um, there was a great response from the book. A lot of people enjoyed the book. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate, you know, those that supported it. And uh, it really, just really developed another side of me, uh, another framework for me. And so it, it, it was something that as much as I hated the process, mm -hmm. I enjoyed the end result. So it was kind of therapeutic for you a little bit? Somewhat, but it was much more disciplined than, okay. than, than therapeutic. It, it really uh, forced me into a process of really being disciplined. Because like I said, music and that process has a sense of being disciplined, but it's more inspired discipline. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where with a book, you know, you, you got to do it when ain't nothing else happening. Right. Yeah, man. So how do you feel... Um, <clears throat> 
Now, as an author, do you feel like that's kind of like an area that you want to get into and do another one? I mean, now that you've kind of pressed your way through this one? You know, I really don't know if that's a really good question. I, uh, I, I still try to be moved by what inspires. Mm -hmm. So even still now, you know, I'm, 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 I'm still striving to move through what inspires me. Now, when we listen to your music, I know how I feel when I listen to your music. Is it is it possible we can hear what's going on in your life through your music? Do we hear what Kirk Franklin is going through? Can we? Oh, no doubt. Okay. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, if you listen to the earlier stuff, even before I did Kirk Franklin and the family, I was writing stuff for like the DFW Mass Choir, Georgia Mass Choir, mm -hmm. and you could hear where I was in those songs or... You know, uh, a song like Imagine Me mm -hmm. is, is, is exactly where I am and, and what I'm trying to say. Or, you know, uh, a song like Let It Go, mm -hmm. you know. So, yes, you know, uh, you know, art does imitate the light, yeah. you know, and so that's the truth for me. Yeah. Yeah. The, you, what I wanted to ask you was, it's being that your music has so much message in it, what would the would Kirk Franklin the man, grown adult man, what song would he pick that would minister to Kirk Franklin the young guy, the young man? That's a dope question. I've never anybody asked that question. Thank you so much. That's a L question. <laughs> she pulled that one out of the <laughs> She'd been saving that one. She, she thought of that one when, when uh, she was spending time with Jesus. Hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> man, it would probably be Imagine Me. Yeah. It, 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 it would probably be that song, you know. I'd have to think deeper about anything else. That, that and maybe Hello Fear. Okay. Well, that transitioned me. Now, oh, well, how did that title come to be? Why Hello Fear, not Goodbye Fear? Just because I, I think the first one, the former one, is more, more conversational. Okay. And I think that it's more, uh, that it catches your attention okay. more. More know. about facing the fear? Well, you know, like if you hear a song called, if if I say I wrote a song called Goodbye Fear, you'll just go, okay. Mm -hmm. But if I say I wrote a song called Hello Fear, you're gonna go, oh, what is, what is, what is that about? Right. And that's the whole purpose, mm -hmm. to be able to grab the attention. I, 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 I think that, that you come to a place where you expect gospel music to say certain things. Mm -hmm. You expect it to say this, expect it to have a title like this. And so to kind of change that so that it engages people more, I think is very important. Mm -hmm. there, there, there is a, um, you have, you seem so comfortable in front of the camera. And so do you see yourself like doing any kind of television or movies or? You know, I don't know. I, 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 when it comes to that, I'm, I'm very, you know, just in a space of that if, if that's what God wants me to do and if it's something that, you know, we see that it's clearly Him leading me in, in that direction, you know, we'll know. Mm -hmm. You know, we won't have to try to figure it out. It won't be forced to, it won't be contrived, you know, we'll mm -hmm. know. I think that the, that the task always is contentment mm. and the task always is being grateful for where you are mm. and to serve God where you are and to not make uh, his agenda your agenda right. well well, n not mm. to make your agenda his agenda Correct. you know but to really be at a place of you know I'm I'm here to serve you wherever you place me because mm. you're a great storyteller I mean you know in, in your songs you're right so I don't know maybe there's a movie in in you we'll see mm. I'm, I, I mean you know if that's if that's what I'm supposed to do, then we'll definitely know. Okay. okay. Well, well, I just wanted to know because, you know, that, that's me. I don't know what they want to know. That's, that's my question. <laughs> well, I'm glad you want to know that. Okay. Good. Well, I'm going to thank you so much for your time. Thank and, you. And uh, appreciate you. you. I think you're going to do a great job tonight. The, the I'm whole excited. city, like I said, is a buzz. They are on their way and they are ready to see them. Some Kirk Franklin. Well, I'm glad to be here. And, I'm very uh, glad to be here. Well, thank we you for inviting me. Oh, and you, you're going to come back. I'm and you're going to see the area and you're going to the mountains. Oh, really? Okay. We dusted them off for you. I, I appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. It had so much dirt on it. <laughs> so we got it. But anyway, but thank you again. Thank you. I'm going to let you get some rest because you can do your thing tonight, I know. Anyway, so this is Bridget B. from the IE. I'm signing off with Mr. Kirk Franklin. We're going to see you tonight. See you next time.